This video will give you an overview of PatternSmith and its capabilities. PatternSmith is designed around three goals, providing the tools you need to create excellent patterns, nesting patterns for maximum efficiency, cutting patterns smoothly and quickly. A PatternSmith project file holds all the patterns this project needs, the materials it uses, and nested tables that are ready to cut. The project window is your entry point to all of our functions. From here, you can create, edit, and manage your patterns, materials, and cutting tools. You can nest patterns for cutting, and then direct the cutting process. The project window is split horizontally, with the pattern view on top and the nesting view on the bottom. In the pattern view, you'll see all the patterns in your project. The nesting view is a bird's eye view of your cutting table scaled to the width of the fabric currently in use. You can drag and drop patterns to the nesting view to place copies on the fabric. Dragging the splitter bar that separates the views changes their relative size. This area is called the content panel. It includes tabs for the toolbox, tool pass priority, pattern, and nest panes. The nest tab includes the current nest properties, such as the nest length and table length, in the Layout section, we have tools that quickly rotate, flip, or center copies your nesting. The Pattern tab shows you the name of the currently selected pattern and lets you set properties like copy quotas, rotation constraints, and fill colors. Fill colors help you track your nesting progress. The Toolbox tab is where you'll create and manage all of the cutting and plotting tools you use. You can add tools, remove tools, or temporarily remap tools. The Tool Pass Priority tab lets you manage tool priority when you use more tools than available mounting points on your cutter. The Status Bar provides information related to your project. While you're nesting, you can see the current nested length and efficiency. When you select patterns, you'll see their total area and perimeter. From the File tab on the ribbon, you can start a new project, navigate to a file, open a recent project, or import patterns into your current project. PatternSmith can open all Autometrics file types, plus DXF, AAMA, Eastman, Gerber, and EPS files. You can have multiple projects open at any time, each in its own tab showing its file name. This makes it easy to copy patterns from one project and paste them into another. You can move or rotate patterns in the pattern view. This makes it possible to arrange them in a logical way. You can organize patterns so they resemble the object they create, by placement groups, or as in this case, group them by zone or fabric type. Before you start nesting, Find the fabric you want to use from the material library and move it to your project. Now you'll see it in your material drop-down. Spacing from the fabric edge and between copies is a property of the fabric you're using. If you want to override a setting, you can do that here. If you're using a conveyor cutter, you may want to set up a longer nesting length. PatternSmith organizes your nests by material and table number. PatternSmith lets you nest manually or automatically. To nest by hand, just drag and drop the patterns you need from the pattern view to the nesting view. You can nest copies of patterns on as many materials as it takes to complete your project. You'll start nesting on table one and then add as many tables as you need. We call the patterns in the nest view copies you can move copies with the left mouse button. To rotate a copy, hold the Alt key while moving the mouse from side to side. It's easy to orient copies with the tools in the content panel. Select the copy, then click on Rotate, Flip, or Center. PatternSmith uses two nesting modes. Move Freely mode lets you move a copy anywhere on the table even overlapping other copies. Nestle mode prevents overlaps. You can change nesting modes from the ribbon or toggle between modes by pressing the spacebar. 
There are two different view modes, Auto Fit and Free Zoom. Auto Fit mode is most convenient while you are actually nesting patterns. Zoom is controlled by moving the splitter bar. Pan is controlled by using a slider at the bottom of the nesting view. Free zoom mode allows you to zoom in tightly, so it's useful when you want to zoom in and check details. Zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. In this mode, pan by pressing the mouse wheel while moving the mouse. Bring the entire nested table back into view with zoom all, control plus spacebar. Nesting with the automatic nesting plugins is simple and fast. Begin by setting up all of the quotas and rotation constraints for all of your patterns. Select the fabric you want to use from the library. If your fabric is already included in this project, select it from the drop-down. With the patterns you want to nest selected, click on the Auto Nest icon. Press Start to begin auto nesting. The Patterns Ribbon tab has the tools you'll use to copy, scale, or combine patterns. Cutting speed optimization is covered in a separate video. If you'll be importing patterns from another software, you'll love this tool. Select a pattern. Now you can open it in the editor by clicking the Pattern Editor button or simply double-clicking inside the pattern from any tab. From the Tools tab, you can access Plugin Tools. CADShot creates patterns from photos. Slicer divides large patterns into panels. And Templates turns your patterns into parametric patterns that can then fit a wide variety of shapes and sizes. When you're ready to cut, go to the Plot Cut tab and click on the current table. The Plot Cut screen shows you the table you're cutting, the material required, the tools to mount on the cutter, and the status. The status pane tells you the system is ready for you to press start on the cutter. After you press start, you'll see your cutting progress as each pattern is filled as it's cut.